Yeah, all right, welcome back. Bet you didn't think you'd see me already. Well, some of you probably did. All right, let me explain. Let's talk about what's happened over the weekend, uh, Monday, um, because I've noticed there's a few people, well, more than a few, that are a bit worried about my well-being. Let me tell you something, mate. I'm okay. I am great. Um, I'm fantastic. Um, I'm amazing. Yes, I was on a two-day bender, and yes, I look ill, because cause I am ill, but we won't delve into what's wrong with me and things like that, because I don't come on YouTube like everybody else, you know, whining and whinging for sympathy. Um, do you know what I mean? I'm a man. I'm a grown-ass man. I'm not one of these um, that suffer from, ooh, me mental, well, I do suffer from mental health, but... Not in the way where it makes me weak, you know. Um, I stay strong. I never let things get me down. I never sit at home like feeling sorry for myself, you know, and all that blabber. So uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yes, I look a bit rough. I ain't had a shave. Look a bit tired eyes, pale skin. Hey, I've always had the pale skin, mate. But don't worry about me. I've been on a two day bender from the drink that ended, like I said, Monday. Um. I won't probably have a drink now for another couple of weeks. Do you know what I mean? People need to lighten up. Do you know what I mean? We all have to let ourselves go occasionally, yeah? I don't smoke. I don't take drugs. I don't take anything else. You know, well, tell a lie. I did have two cigarettes the other day. So, you know, make what you want of that. But, um, yeah, so everyone's saying, oh, you know, you look unwell or you look like you, you're on this or you look like you're, you know, going loopy. It's all entertainment, people. Don't get excited. I know a lot of people on this corner are a bit, how can we put it, simple. You know, borderline special needs. And they, they believe everything they watch. And they think that someone really is having a meltdown live. Live on a live, you know. But I can assure you, I'm fine. Do you know what I mean? Apart from the usual, you know, day-to-day -day struggles, I'm, I'm in good nick. I'm healthy. The diet started up again, probably probably for another two weeks, and then um, it'll relapse. It relapse. There's nothing wrong with having a, a booze up, is there, at the weekend? Do you know what I mean? You know, we all do it, even at my age. You know what I mean? I'll be 39 soon. Um, most people, when they see me in the flesh, think I'm years um, younger. I think what it is, my camera's a bit iffy. I think the lighting's bad in this room, and all, all the rooms in this uh, place, but... You know, it is what it is, so, like I said, I wasn't going to do a video until next week, like, when I got my new, um, arcade machine, you know, um, got to put, got to put that first, mate, um, and yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, so, you know, all the snow, all the little snowflakes need to stop worrying, do you know what I mean, and think like, oh, he's on, he's on death's door, look, he's going crazy, he's going mad, he's going insane, you know, it's all... Well, some of it's a performance, you know, but I really was the ticking time bomb, the loose cannon, should we say, you know, I could just explode at any, anyway, we won't go there again, um, but yeah, I've watched a bit of YouTube, uh, watched Fake Feels Live last night, um, I know him and Narrative Destroyer, I know like both them guys, I've had a falling out, it's got a bit personal, it's got a bit silly, but I'm sure, you know, things will be okay in a few days, um, JDP, oh, <laughs> I've been watching JDP, now tell a lie, I didn't watch the last video, because it's, it's even too cringe for me, and you know me, I'm the king of cringe, but his deck of stories are, are so far-fetched, I know it's comedy, I know it's comedy, I can get the joke, and I can get the shadow bacon joke, I need the shadow bacon joke ain't funny anymore, you know, him and this pit of doom, and you know, and all these, look, look at the people he has on his lives, not respected, genuine fighting men, they're, they're off wits, they, they are off wits, they've all got substance uh, issues, you know, um, I won't name names, but you think, oh no, then we got the boar fest that is Jimmy Justice Miller, nice guy, just slightly dull, uh, then we got Mr. Pants down, who still after, I think, about two years, still going on about the mate, they're all masons, they're all pulling. They're all going to get arrested. <laughs> Silly old sausage. And then we got Anne. Good, my dear friend Anne. 
who who seems to copy all my videos. Every video I do, I guess he 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 will just change up the wording every couple of days later and be like, "Hello, me lovelies." What well, I've been thinking, my lovelies, you know. And um, I enjoy watching Calm Corner again. He's going for a bit of a dry patch. Ain't doing a lot. Um, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, back to JDP, I'm losing myself, yeah. So, but I'll tell you one thing, the comments in JDP's channel, and they're the ones we can see, God knows how many have been deleted. They are fucking hilarious, mate. They are hilarious. You know, top of the cup for sure, love. Christmas is cancelled. Well, now, now, now listen here, everybody. I'm back to talking about Derek now. I'm, I'm not going to talk about Martin anymore because I was the first one to say no, I was a scammer. And I was right, because I don't right. Now I was saying Derek is not guilty. But, but before that, I said he was guilty when I was wearing a red vendetta mask. Now he's not guilty, but now again, he might be guilty because I saw a video from a lady that says he's guilty. But then he might not be guilty today, but he will be guilty tomorrow. And I'll make up another story. <laughs> <laughs> and I might come and he might have another story about Derek's prison. This should be his title should be renamed Derek's Prison Diaries. Only only none of it's accurate, you know. And is it funny? It is for the wrong reasons. <laughs> and he's other his mate, his gormless mate, he's disappeared again. I don't know if he's had a meltdown or he's lost his channel. Or what, but I've noticed Chris Murphy Winsford, or whatever the bloody name is, he, he's, he's vanished again, but some of the stuff he does and some of the things he says are, how can we put it, quite controversial. Right, so, um, apart from that, watched a bit of video, Craig. Yeah, I've got to say, I enjoyed that. Um, watched a bit of Bobby Kyle, enjoying that, enjoying that freeze, the white two-pack. That's like me as well. So me and Bobby Kyle kind of connect on our love for music, our love for the fug life, you know, and just being all round cool dudes. When I drink, I'm a cool dude. I'm not drinking because I have bloody personal problems like, oh, you know, I'm depressed, guys. You know, I'm not like Paul Dumbo Venice who has a meltdown everywhere. Oh, I'm going to delete you. I'm blocking you. Oh, me mental health. Oh, why are they doing it to me? You order a pair of Nikes from from Paul on on Facebook. You get a you get a you get a pair of Umbros or Dunlop, and they're about size sixteen. Jeez, they're huge. I've never seen such big feet. Well, I did. Cause who's seen that press photo with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul? Jesus Christ! Who's give Tyson them bloody trainers? Them trainers. They look about six sizes too big for him. He'll end up tripping over his feet if they do have a fight. Oh, God. Um, that's about it. Yeah, so I'm okay. People stop panicking. So, oh, he looks ill. He's, he he looks very white. He looks very tired. He looks... Oh, he, it is a mess. What are you on, Doctor? You, you, you've got a bit... You've got a bit crazy. You've got a bit... Bizarre. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, so... Hopefully now I can carry on enjoying my hiatus from YouTube, having a much-deserved long break without people worrying about me, that, I'm, that, I've, that I've become a raging alcoholic, like my dear friend John Smith, you know, who, who's come on my comment section actually saying, I felt I covered this in my life, that he's worried about me. John, mate, you're necking bloody tequila and whiskey. I'm only necking Heineken. Bloody hell, mate, I've had a few glasses of what you're on and up on me back. Jesus, and this ain't personal, mate. This is me out of character. I'm not in character now. I know John is a fantastic dad. He's an amazing dad. He's a wonderful dad. But he's a raging alky. Um, no, and as for the Derek Gordon Beggy story, yes, I have heard that he's in whole prison, where he belongs, if you ask me. I'd say, for, I'll throw away the key, I'd say, um, with Brett May and Scotch Egg, of all people. Imagine that lot being on the same... You know, well, I wouldn't say they're on the same wing, are they? I mean, Derek's probably um, on the numbers or so, you know. <laughs> They've locked me up again! <laughs> yes! For inciting hate speech! But it wasn't me! <laughs> no! I might have said it, but it wasn't me! <laughs> My decision! <laughs> A 
right, we've still got the account known as me, myself, and I. That's Lazla, that's whatever. To all you good people, that's Lazla. You know Lazla, Lazla's gonna be a singer, right? Um, yeah, Lazla has been, I've noticed Leslie and JDP's comments doing exactly what she used to do to me. Trying to make me feel guilty, trying to say, yeah, support Decker, support Decker. He likes you, you know, or oh, you've got so much integrity when you when you support uh, big Derek, big dumb Derek. I mean, hardly left the house in the last three years and has managed to be locked up three times in nearly one year. You couldn't make this. The guy's got to be the most unluckiest perth in, in, the, in the country. Now, not only that, in there he's a bigot as well. So, you know, that's another thing to add to his um, long list of illnesses, you know, along with bipolar, PTSD, um, and all the other mumbo-jumbo that he claims he's had, you know. 